trends are examples of significant changes at the macro or global level. Our guest today explains how, when governments control their own nations, despite the manipulations of the game, economic trends in the endgame can be predicted. We are experiencing the worst financial, geopolitical, and socioeconomic crisis in world history, says Gerald Salente, founder, director of the Trends Research Institute, and publisher of the weekly Trends Journal. The bubble met the needle, adds Robert Kiyosaki. Host Robert Kiyosaki and guest Gerald Salente discuss the cold and hard realities and trends shaping the economic future. Listen to the full podcast to prepare for the massive economic crash, and are we witnessing a serious economic crisis? Please follow us on YouTube and open your notifications for further podcasts. Enjoy. Welcome to the Rich Dad Show, Gerald. Ah, oh, thank you so much for having me on. How and, do you uh, how do you get so much information packed in that little thing? That journal. Uh, you know, I've never worked harder in my life, and I have a good team. I, and you know, we're doing the very best we can because these are the most crucial times of my yes. life. In you know, we're both not kids, you know. If you haven't been no. there, don't tell me what it was. Yeah. And I know what it was, and I know what it is, and I see where it's going. And remember, like, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I was 18 years old, I had a Beretta. You know, nobody in school would blow, uh, you know, a baby boom generation, first ones born, born 1946 to 40, 50 kids in my class. Baby boom. I don't think you're allowed to say that one anymore either. Oh, no. Yeah. They're doing that in the UK. Uh, and anyway, you know, there were no, you didn't go through a security, a metal detector. Yeah. You didn't have guards around. Kids yeah. weren't shooting each other. Yeah. You're talking about the way we grew up. Yeah. yeah, there were neighborhoods you didn't go into. They were tough. Yeah. But you didn't have to worry about every day, you know. Oh, oh, Starbucks just closed down, what, 11 places because of the people out of their minds? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look what's happened to society. And right. you said that woman that plays the law professor... Place, <laughs> I think she yeah, is because, a law professor. And you, and you said, you know, how could anybody with a mind like that look at I the mean, clowns running our 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 world? Well, she entered the twilight zone beyond stupid. I didn't think it existed, but I now know it does exist. <laughs> but who's your favorite president? Who's your favorite chancellor? Who's your favorite prime minister? You know, that well, great artist we have for the Trends Journal, Anthony Frieda, that does these covers. If I said to him, listen, Anthony. I want you to come up with a guy that we can make the biggest clown you could ever look at, and we'll make him the prime minister of the UK. We'll call him <laughs> Boris Johnson. You couldn't come up with a, a, a freakier freak. No. And how about Biden and Kamala? Oh my God! Uh, and I'm, I'm not—I'm not Republican or Democrat. You know, Trump yeah. is my friend, but I support the freedom of choice of who we want to vote for. That's all it is. Not—I'm not Republican or Democrat. Just want freedom. But yeah, I was but talking. I was. Hey, I was talking to this young woman. I said, "JFK." She never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know who JFK was. I said he was a president. Really? I can't believe how stupid the kids are. I mean, not that they're stupid. They're in misinformed. They're coming out of school so misinformed or underinformed. You know that those old saying that we used to have as a kid: milk. More information, less knowledge. I mean, that applies to what's happening in schools today. I can't believe it. Well, think about it. it I think it cost about $186,000 to educate a person. I shouldn't say educate them, to put into a government system from <laughs> kindergarten to, to, to 12th grade. So now you're spending all that money, and what do they do? They get a job working at Walmart, getting a job driving a UPS or, or, or a Amazon truck. What do they do? They work at Home Depot. What do they, where do they, why did you send them to school all these years if this is the career they're going to have? And you can't hurt their feelings. You have to give Again, everybody a trophy. It, it, it's, it's, they, they hated school probably. That's why they had the jobs there. I hated every day of school. Me too. I got left back in the fifth grade, ran away from kindergarten, <laughs> barely got out of high school. <laughs> you know, it, 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 I'm just saying the system, by their deeds, you shall know them. We're spending almost $200,000 to educate somebody. You didn't have to go to school to work at these jobs. So, so let me ask you this question, okay? So this, this, like I said, where it must be psychic because I'm tweeting about how can somebody go beyond stupid? 
but like Rod Serling on the Twilight Zone said when we were kids, you entered a whole nother zone of stupidity. And so the trans journalists stay stupid, stay in the mainstream. What did you mean by that? What is this trans journal about? Well, that, you know, that's the, the trends journals about we tell people what in the world is going on, yeah. what it means, what's next and what to do. And of course, the motto is think for yourself. You don't have to do what we tell you to do. But the mainstream, all it is, is it's, it's constant propaganda. Yep. And, and they never stop. And they're rookies. And by the way, I used to be on Oprah the Today Show, Good Morning America, like you are, you're everywhere. You know what the deal is. I mean, you're working for the, you know, you're working for the corporation. Right. And they want you to say what they want you to say, and you got to be in the game. Go back to the Iraq War. The, the facts are there by fairness and accuracy and reporting. The only people they put on there were, were pro-war. Right. The, the, amount, the amount of people that were anti-war were fractional. Oh, and they fired that guy, Phil Donahue, from MSNBC for coming out against the war. So what you're getting is you're getting the system. And when right. it goes back to remember the main, you know, the Hearst... Newspaper with the with the with the uh, with the um, Spanish American War, right? And you go back to the New York Times. You know, I said I'm saying he has them aluminum tubes. Well, we were wrong, but we'll tell that after we we told the the, the propaganda. Okay, so let me so let me read some of the enticing subjects that are in this day's today's trends journal. It says here, the new world disorder, top trend, emerging nations diving into debt default. And did you see last night when Tucker Carlson, they're in Sri Lanka and they're watching the rioting going on because everything is falling apart in Sri Lanka. I'm going, holy man, that's my friend's home. Wow. And it's just coming apart. The other thing is the new world disorder, top trend, Germany rations power as Russia cuts gas supplies. And if that's not enough, we want to buy the trends journal and read it. Spotlight China, Western <coughs> investors flock back to China. I thought they were the enemy. Do you know in Vietnam, I, I went to Vietnam twice as a Marine pilot, we won the war. But people don't know that we stopped Chinese communism in Vietnam. But what did they report? None of that. I remember watching Walter Cronkite on TV and, what, and I know he's fed the news, but what he reported about the battles we fought in wasn't true, didn't happen. But they show me lie massacre, they show all the atrocities that the American troops caused. And then I come back, I land at Norton Air Force Base in 1972, I'm getting off the plane, I'm hit by eggs, spit on, called baby wow. killer. All these hippies from the Woodstock, genera Woodstock generation, just crucifying us. That's because of the news. And so that's why the Trans Journal, you, you, <laughs> You, you got to read the stuff because Joel and his team go all out. I mean, we look forward to what you're saying. Thank you. Because I want to get, I want to stay away from MSNBC, you know, and I'm in the markets all the time. We call it CNBS. <laughs> I mean, holy mackerel. Buy the dip, the Fed's on your dome. Don't fight the Fed. I'm going, holy mackerel. And we're sliding into the biggest crash in history. And I, I, I am on record here. This is my book, Rich Dad's Prophecy, why the biggest stock market crash in history is still coming yep. and how you can prepare yourself and profit from it. So I'm going to get extremely rich because of the trends journal and things I'm reading. I said, okay, I'm ahead, of the, I'm ahead of the curve. But what about the baby boomers, Gerald? My generation, your generation, with the first generation with a 401k, I think less than 50% have $100,000 in their 401k and it's been cutting, cut in half to a 101k right now, a quarter percent. What's gonna to happen to them, Gerald? Yeah, you noted it with your book. Your new book says it all. We are into the worst financial crisis and geopolitical crisis, socioeconomic crisis in, in the history of, of the world. Of the world. America's the biggest debtor nation in the world right now. And all we do is keep blowing bubbles up and the bubble has met the pin. It's gonna pop, it's popping. And now with them raising interest rates, inflation continue to skyrocket. The, what the COVID war did is unprecedented. It's incalculable the damage it's done. It killed the lives and livelihoods 
of billions of people. Right. You mentioned about what's going on in Sri Lanka. How about exa- exactly what you said? You know, it's the new world disorder. It's going on all over. Yeah. When people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And they've lost everything. Look at all the businesses just in America that have gone out of business. What, a third of the dry cleaners? Gone. What's office occupancy rate? Eh, depending on what you look at in the metro areas, oh, it's around 40%. You mean it's 60% lower? Oh, no more happy hours. Oh, don't have to, uh, you know, again, go to the dry cleaners. I'm working from home now. Oh, oh, all the delicatessens, all of the businesses that used to depend on commuters, gone. Gone. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, the Trends Journal is essential because you've got to stay abreast of what's happening and don't depend upon mainstream news. I remember, Gerald, I'm a, you know, I'm a Marine pilot in Vietnam. We just got hammered. We hammered back at a place called Quang Tree. There was way. We pounded them. We pounded the Chinese communists. And what does Walter Cronkite report? All our atrocities. <laughs> and there were atrocities, but they were on both sides. It was fake news, exactly as Donald Trump says. And so that's why the Trans Journal, that's why I wrote this book here, Rich Dad's Prophecy, 